going on guys? Shane here. I'm Seamus. We're talking about fighting bigger, stronger opponents. I got Seamus here. He's a lot bigger, a lot stronger than me. When fighting someone bigger and stronger, I don't want to get in close. I don't want to get caught up. I don't want him to grab me, okay? Once I get in close, he gets a hold of me. He could throw me down. He could be muscling me, right? That's really all he has to do. Throw me around. Once he starts to break me down with punches, he can choke me out. He can throw me to the ground, get on top of me. I do not want that. Let me first remind you guys that violence is not cool. Fighting should only be done in self-defense and bullies suck. So we talked about explosiveness in the first video. Then we talked about faint, getting him to react and then light him up with those straight punches. Now we're gonna talk about vital areas, vital spots, pressure points, okay? Just in case we do get close, right? How to get out of it. So let's say, let's say he just gets me in like a bear hug, right? He's in nice and close, nice and tight. And he's trying to like muscle me, throw me to the ground, right? I'm all over the place and I can't, I can't find my balance. My, he's got hold of my hips and I can't get him away. You gotta remember that he's human, okay? Remember that, don't let that scare you. You're gonna be scared, you're gonna be overwhelmed, but know that his ears can be torn off. Know that his eyes, I can push them into his brain, right? Get him away from you, follow up with elbows, okay? Headbutts, elbow to the neck, punch to the neck. Try to create that space. Once I get away, then I can follow up, boom, with my straight punches and jab out. Everything all leads together. We talked about explosiveness, how we're in and out before he can get a hold of me. We talked about feints to get him react so I can land my punches, right? I faint, boom, I come in, I catch him with a punch, faint, boom. Then we talk about if he does happen to get a hold of you, let's say you're in, in close quarters, let's say he comes in, he rushes you and he grabs a hold of you, then you gotta, you gotta fight rough, you gotta fight dirty, okay? Pull his hair back, follow up with some elbows, stick your thumb into his eye, headbutt him. Now guys, if you're in a school fight, obviously you don't wanna get this violent. You don't wanna, you know, shove your thumb into someone's head. You know, dude, just to the point where he can loosen up his grip, where you can maybe throw some knees or a kick to get away, create some space. And then you just go back to the first video where we talked about explosiveness, okay? Stay confident, remember that your opponent is human just like you are, okay? If you guys wanna learn how to get stronger, we did a video on gaining size and strength. Also, we did a video on dirty fighting, so a little more in depth, more techniques that you can do against someone who has you, you know, in a, in a hold that you need to get out of. Don't, don't forget that the neck is vulnerable, the groin, the eyes, the ears, okay, all of these areas, no matter how big, no matter how strong, those areas are weak, go for them. Until next time, I'm Shane. And I'm Seamus. Fight Tips.